uh, so to, let's start. So today, uh, I, will, I would like to tell you about uh, uh, properties of uh, one-dimensional impurity uh, that uh, we, uh, I studied uh, with my colleagues over uh, last couple of years. So it will be a collection of uh, different uh, projects that uh, kind of reflects our understanding of uh, dynamics uh, in impurity in the world. Uh, Gaza. So, uh, yeah, my name is Alexander Gumil, and I'm here as a NAVA fellow for, so I will be here for another year and a half. Yeah, so, if you have any projects for collaboration, I'm open. Okay, uh, so let's get started. Uh, so, what I mean by, by mobile impurity is, is basically reflected in this cartoon. Could you, could you switch to the full screen? Uh, well, no. It's, uh, Unfortunately, I, I will lose audience here because it will be shown on, on, on my display. Fortunately, we could not uh, uh, connect HDMI with so this VGA issues. So, so I, I'm uh, uh, apologize for this. Um, okay. Uh, so, uh, right. But uh, yeah, so here. Uh, here is a cartoon of our system, which is uh, uh, some red particle, which will pop off particles uh, with some interaction, and uh, a blue particle, which I will call variability, which is also called and it's depicted by blue because it has a properties different from the properties of uh, uh, those particles. And uh, uh, here's the outline of my talk. So I will present a very specific model that uh, uh, corresponds to this situation. And then for this model, I, I described uh, three physical questions, namely, what is the momentum distribution of the impurity in the graph, say, let's say, what is the dynamical properties of impurity injected in some momentum and what are the correlation functions? So what is the spectral function of the security? And there we will see that instead of like normal diffusion, we see some kind of log uh, logarithmic diffusion. Uh, right. So. Before uh, introducing the Maguire model, let me say that uh, there are two kinds of motivations to consider the systems, and one is uh, 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 experimental, so it uh, directly connects with uh, uh, um, experiments in ultra cold uh, uh, atoms uh, loaded in uh, one dimensional optical traps. And uh, uh, so here is schematically shown. Uh, the uh, uh, possible experiment and it's a non experiment. So, 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 so what it shows is that the hmm, atoms are loaded in some dimensional form and they are completely held by a trap. Then, at some uh, initial moment of time, a ref pulse is sent uh, to the middle of the tube and it flips one of the hyper fine state of the. Of the uh, uh, atoms in the cube, so it's no longer held by a trap. And then it starts propagating down uh, and, and interacting with all, all particles uh, uh, yeah, in, in the tube. So this way, uh, this uh, impurity is just uh, atom of the same type, but, but it's different uh, hyperfine state. So this is uh, motivation uh, of the experimental point of view of how to describe the systems. And uh, there is also motivation from the theoretical point of view and it comes uh, from the description uh, for the description of the uh, um, correlation functions in the mm -hmm. systems so normally the way to describe uh, uh, large checks and large checks and projects uh, yeah you use just uh, so spectral sum and the spectral sum uh, you focus on the low energy states and for low energy states uh, you can uh, basically uh, uh, linearize the spectrum of, of concentration so just, and replace it uh, and, and then replace uh, your uh, original theory with effective theory of, uh, of essentially three bottoms. So, uh, which is uh, by the name of the Latin journey. And it uh, captures uh, a lot of uh, important properties of, of one dimensional system, but sometimes. If you have to consider either uh, high energy excitations or consider not ground states but uh, um, uh, high energy states, then you have to take into account uh, uh, highly energetic consideration for which the curvature of the spectrum is important and you can no longer linearize. And in the years, uh, 
for law of work, uh, there is what's called um, nonlinear Lattinger equilibrium, namely when you combine usual Lattinger description with one highly excited uh, particle, which has k square or whatever uh, dispersion, and uh, naturally it also plays a role of covalent field. So this is uh, another motivation why uh, this uh, well impurities uh, are important. All right, uh, so this being said, let's come back to the Maguire model, which is nothing but uh, a few terms of this uh, PIs uh, interacting uh, with the impurity through uh, contact interaction G, and otherwise, system is uh, uh, non interactive. So in this case, if I focus only on the properties uh, of the uh, mobile impurity, I could uh, equally assume that uh, instead of having three fermions, I, I have a dark hardcore boson. So this is more relevant for uh, the experimental situation. All right, uh, so uh, uh, I have this model, and uh, uh, I want to solve it uh, in the thermodynamic limit. In which both system size and number of those particles uh, tends to infinity, such that the ratio is constant. Uh, and uh, for simplicity, here I also assume periodic boundary conditions, which uh, doesn't really reflect uh, the experimental setup of uh, uh, open direct boundary condition, but we believe that in the dynamic limit it doesn't matter. All right, uh, so the beauty of the system is that um, actually it is integrable. It's uh, uh, for a particular sector of what is called young uh, good end system. Uh, I, I will not deliberate uh, on, on the speakability. I just say that uh, in this case, it literally allows to solve this uh, system explicitly. And uh, in the next few slides, I will just uh, describe uh, uh, its solution, the well, result of the solution. All right. Uh, so it turns out uh, that. Uh, in, in this case, the coordinate bet on that it, uh, works in, in the following sense. You assume that uh, the, the, the eigenstate of your system is just a sum of uh, partial waves uh, with some unknown amplitudes. You substitute for this uh, amplitudes, and you can actually uh, found uh, the amplitudes uh, and therefore uh, the whole wave function. It turns out that in this particular case, it, it, it also takes a specifically simple uh, form of, of set of determinants with one extra line of response to And uh, as a stated, it, it, it describes by uh, the following data. So to specify an eigenstate, uh, you have to uh, fix uh, the momentum kj that uh, describes uh, what's called. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 the satisfy uh, by the equations. So, 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 so some continental equations with some lambda. So, uh, roughly speaking, the uh, right hand side part is with some of legal case sheet, which is internal activity in some of the sets of the So, you set ends, uh, and for, for clarity experiment lambda, you uh, get n plus one solutions to this question. And with this point moment, you know your energy and the total momentum. And, uh, and that's how you specify your uh, state. Now you can ask, what is this parameter lambda, which was absent in the system? Well, it turns out that the total momentum is, uh, is a good quantum number. So, so Q commutes with Hamiltonian. So instead of fixing Q, uh, essentially, you just uh, uh, fix lambda. And uh, yeah, basically, with the relation in the red box that uh, basically relates your integers and uh, and, and total momentum so 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 q lambda they can be used uh, interchanges right so this is uh, how you describe your uh, and, and every eigenstate state can be described like this uh, so just uh, just to reiterate you have to solve um, you have to solve uh, uh, that equation and uh, for G bigger than zero, so in the passive case, you have only a real solution. For, for, for G less than zero, you also, also you can have two complex conjugated uh, solutions, but like no more. And uh, yeah, otherwise, that's the uh, it works. Um, not all sets of integers are, are available. 
So sometimes you cannot relate Q and uh, lambda. Well, in this case, you have to pick uh, different sets of n plus integers. But otherwise, in terms of integers, basically it's, it, it's the same as a, a, as a state of free fermion does. So you have to uh, take a, n plus one set, uh, set, set, set of integers and your eigenstate is fixed. Okay, so with this eigenstate, what you can do, basically to, to, to compute correlation functions, uh, you, uh, you must have uh, some um, uh, form factor, so matrix of map. Uh, so in this case, uh, basically, if, uh, if you consider CP as a basically uh, 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 annihilation operator of, of, of impurity with meant to P, then what is left is uh, it, it's just as uh, dust of, of free fermions, uh, the seven plus by uncompressing meant to P. And uh, uh, then uh, the form factor is basically, uh, yeah, given by this. Uh, uh, Almost a shitty torrent with one extra line that physically corresponds to, um, to, to the, the fact that we have a system with impurity. Uh, uh, it has uh, some other factorizable factors right here. Uh, some sum that will also essentially be factorized, at it. and some uh, just not a function of my So this is. Just result of better that's the, 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 the. and uh, then what can we do with this? Uh, uh, what, what, what what can we do with this uh, uh, from factors? Well, uh, well, we can uh, uh, compute a uh, uh, momentum distribution function just uh, considering uh, c dagger c uh, uh, of the impurity in some eigenstate a. Then we just Introduce here uh, the resolution of unity with the free gas, and then we have to perform of uh, the, the sum of the sort of compactors with the CVMs. Uh, the same with the uh, uh, average momentum of the impurity injected with the uh, initial moment of time and some moment of remote, and then we get this system. Uh, even though if we even not this PFT, then we can. Uh, Address uh, the asymptotic value of the moment because it's zero or not. And finally, uh, we can consider the case when uh, impurity is injected at some moment at, at t0 and x0, and then uh, taken out at x and t, e, and then uh, what is the correlation? What is the correlation function to the performance? That should be function. Uh, right. So, okay, so let's uh, proceed. Uh, so it, it turns out that to, to address uh, yeah, but, uh, technically uh, it's it's uh, good. Good. consider um, what's called uh, one particle density matrix. So which is just a Fourier uh, uh, transformation of rho. Uh, yeah, so so uh, just, just just to emphasize uh, the importance of this function and, and how it uh, uh, reflects the system. Imagine uh, that uh, we had a uh, just a system of identical particles given by uh, by function psi. Then to get the uh, one particle density matrix, we basically integrate out all matrix but but one. And then it turns out that if we have uh, the same basically uh, functions but with different statistics then and okay it looks uh, completely different so for um so for bosonic statistics we will have this one of the distortion while for fermions we, uh, we don't have uh, basically the uh, yeah basically the fermi c uh, Okay, so, uh, so 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 this is for independent particles. Now let's see what we have in our case. But uh, to do this, let me tell you uh, how this uh, result of summation can be expressed. So as I said, uh, uh, because uh, of the very factorized form and uh, and uh, basically for factorizable summations, uh, the uh, one point of density matrix can be expressed. Uh, as a well, in this case, difference of, of two determinants with the following form. So it starts with, with this uh, one of ij, 
And then it, it, it's some regular uh, function with a uh, factor one over L. And uh, that depends on the, on the KIKJ that corresponds to the specific state. Of the, and uh, this, is, uh, uh, this uh, specific form uh, allows immediately to take a thermodynamic limit and express answer in terms of the uh, in which this, this case are now regarded as an operators that act uh, function on some uh, interval. In, in this case, this, in our case, it's interval uh, minus one, one, which corresponds to Fermi C, but the principle can be any interval gamma. And the operator means that it, and, the, and the operator acts in terms of conjugation. And uh, actually, uh, this object is, is very well defined. So it's uh, uh, well defined as the formal uh, uh, just Riemann integral. So basically, if you want to compute the uh, Riemann integral, you would choose any uh, quadrature you like. So some uh, 0.6 case and uh, weights omega k. And then you perform uh, yes, the, the limit of the sum. And similar with, with the goal of the term. So you just pick up any distribution uh, of points and any weights, and then you compute uh, well turn on 10 by n. And it turns out that uh, yes, these objects are, are studied to be constructed and uh, basically uh, yeah, can be nicely related to that. And what's more important is that uh, even though uh, for finite systems you have to solve these incidental questions with some doubles, etc., in the dynamic limit, you don't have to do this. Because any uh, weighted distribution is good, and you can pick even like uh, just uniform, just with one over n, and uh, everything is fine. Uh, and uh, one last remark that if you want to take into account uh, uh, not the ground state but some state of finite density, it, it can be also easily done uh, on, on the level of your own kernels just by yeah, just by uh, uh, scaling your kernel with this. So this is just the uh, uh, general feeling of, of, of how answer looks like, and uh, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and and, uh, and 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 here is a, a typical answer for uh, for kernels for uh, the Tanilla for momentum distribution, and uh, it, it, so so to some very specific kernels that we computed, and uh, what's important they depend only on the. Um, uh, the phase shift the, the, the comes from the um, better equations. And uh, it uh, begs to bring the notion of universality that for any other uh, systems, for instance, uh, as we would be discussed, that, uh, yeah, absolutely not visible <laughs> with audience, but uh, is, is, is that uh, that describes both of the direct uh, expression. We see uh, that has much more complicated but, uh, but equation and, and for which this f, f, f function is no longer just simple you know, a function but some solution of uh, uh, some integral equation but yet if you know this function from, from some means then the distribution would be the same uh, as, as uh, from biodiversity but with the replaced f and, and, and later we, we tested this uh, uh, conjecture Okay, so now let's see some pictures out of what uh, uh, yeah so 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 basically here you see results of uh, uh, of the terms of finite uh, uh, system sizes uh, yeah they, they you see the periodic of the systems and the from the terms is this um, blue curve that basically goes to this and uh, um, it approximates uh, its final uh, system size about. And you see that for total moment of Q0, you will see any oscillations, and for final moment you see some oscillations, exactly this. Uh, it's in the, I apologize for people not here. Um, right. So then, uh, uh, if we take four years of this distribution, we get our desired. Uh, uh, momentum distribution, and then we'll see a uh, very interesting. Uh, Example, uh, namely that the um, that the, the, the shape of, uh, of the uh, momentum distribution uh, can it depends on, on the total momentum or, or on the lambda, and and go it can go from purely bosonic to purely fermionic, and 
So, and uh, it also has this systematic form, which kind of backs to analogy with anionic gas. So, mainly with statistics, with, with undefined statistics. So, so which uh, 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 that you exchange and, uh, and, and, and get some phase, uh, uh, like the couple with the couple in arbitrary. And then, uh, if you take our exact formulas and send the uh, couple to infinity, we recover uh, the result of the momentum of uh, dependent statistics uh, that were known by, yeah, by, by, by other uh, people. Uh, okay, uh, so now so this for, is the other result. Is yeah, so other result is for purely anionic, uh, if you wish, if you can say it, indistinguishable particles that were like, well, in the same identical, and then you integrate it all but one and ask what, uh, what is the momentum distribution. No. Annuals in, in one dimension. Annuals in one dimension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not uh, that. Uh, yeah, so. so, so I, 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 I mean, one dimension, but, but like thinking on, on the edge of the fractional uh, dimension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, no, 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 no. It's uh, uh, non chiral. So with, okay. with, okay. with backscattering. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so, 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 so now what we, what we did, just let us uh, reiterate, we take a gas of red particles and blue particle, which uh, uh, didn't have any mutual statistics. So if you uh, interchange red, red and blue, it's, it's nothing, just a new state. Now we effectively integrated out all red particles. And what we obtain is uh, uh, basically something that reminds the uh, anionic statistics. So as if, uh, uh, the, there was a statistics uh, and uh, yeah, and then the so, 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 somehow was the problem. So this is what happened uh, with the uh, repulsive case and uh, in case when you have a bound state in the spectrum, it seems like nothing dramatic happens. Uh, for all momenta, uh, distribution reminds actually a uh, bodily one. All right, so this uh, for uh, momentum distribution. Let's uh, proceed in the same way to uh, other observables. And the other observable is, is basically much more complicated. And it reflects that the dynamic of the system. And it corresponds to the following physical stuff. So imagine at the initial moment of time, you just, uh, you just injected the uh, uh, impurity with momentum P0 uh, into the just uh, Fermi C of this then you let it uh, propagate and you ask uh, what is the average momentum of the, the system. Uh, so here you see the result of, 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 of just numerically truncating the sums uh, somehow. And uh, uh, here are the results for a uh, different uh, number of particles. And then you see is that uh, what, what happens initially is that it drops momentum to some zero value. Then, uh, depending on the number of particles, uh, you, you have some revivals. Uh, which happens later for the, for the larger number of particles. But in general, you can say that uh, uh, in principle, system gets some non zero uh, steady momentum, P infinity. Uh, and uh, in this case, there are also some uh, acceleration from the field, which were dubbed as quantum flutter. Okay. Yeah. And uh, physically, this uh, looks uh, very non trivial because. You injected a system in, 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 into a gas and allow a particle to, to, to scatter as, as, as long as it wants. And then, and then the, the physical intuition tells you that, okay, after a long time, the distribution of the uh, function of this particle will be identical to the same of a gas because it will yeah, collide with all particles and somehow. But uh, the, then it, its average momentum would be a zero. Well, here it's, it's, it's definitely from zero, so it creates some discussion in the literature. And uh, what we can do, we can basically address this issue for the asymptotic momentum uh, again with our uh, technique. So basically, we just perform uh, again summation of all factors, and again uh, we get result uh, in terms of determinants of the similar type. And then we can just uh, test uh, this uh, infinity. Uh, uh, yeah, so as I said, 
all these qualities are, are fantastic to evaluate numerically. And then, uh, so, so here, uh, uh, solid lines are our results for two different uh, interactions. Uh, is this, is this is a function uh, um, uh, as a body momentum of the initial momentum. So the and uh, uh, this uh, triangle results, they are basically results uh, of the uh, of, of this type of numeric uh, uh, evaluation where you perform the night and then you see what is the value of this protocol. And well, you see, like, perfect convergence. Okay, and so, ah, yes, uh, so this is, uh, was one way to inject particles. So when we just uh, injected with some moment, there is another way to. To, to, to do this, namely assume that uh, uh, particle and gases are already in, in some ground state, and then you just perform a kick to the, to the, uh, to, to the particle. Uh, as, and this is relevant if you want to model uh, okay, systems that is pulled by force, which is actually relevant for it. But uh, if you just uh, uh, kick it once and then wait, then basically uh, for PSD, you get a pretty similar result. <laughs> With more features for larger gamma, but otherwise, uh, will it, will, yeah, will it have to be the same um, as uh, with other injection protocols? Okay, so with this, let us move to the uh, relation function. Uh, again, uh, strategy is, is literally the same, so we have some of some factors. Uh, uh, yes, and uh, then we uh, get uh, again an exact result. Uh, with uh, with uh, this integration of this parameter lambda, which plays it's the same physical role as local momentum. And what is interesting here uh, that uh, this value of this from kernels you would obtain uh, if you just evaluated uh, uh, basically just a fermion correlator of, of normal fermions attached with uh, uh, what is called your Lima stream, which is responsible. Uh, for its 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 statistics, so 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 normally, if you uh, in, in typical Jordan Weber situation, when you want to go from spins to fermions, you have to attach the string to uh, keep uh, st statistics on different side. And uh, so so here again, uh, uh, we have this. So this integral over lambda will just go into flat average of the statistics, which uh, again kind of reflects the uh, the fact that mutual statistics. Uh, of, uh, of blue particle and red particles can be whatever, and we have to just uh, slightly average our own statistics. So this is a nice interpretation of this uh, lambda integral. Right, uh, now let's see uh, how our uh, field theory story is <laughs> doing. So, for we can uh, use our uh, uh, field theory and Lattinger theory um, and, uh, understanding and intuition. Actually, to find uh, a large X and large T values of this redundant terminals. So normally, if you go through redundant terminals, it's 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 hard to analyze it further. So from the mathematical point of view, it's it's uh, doable, but it's like require solution of human field problem and some other sophisticated methods. And here we have nice physical uh, implementation, um, and it's uh, as follows. So to find a, a, a asymptotic value of redundant terminal. You have to come back to the uh, basically the form factor series, identify the most relevant form factors in this case, and then consider what's called um, yeah, soft excitations on, on top of this. So, normally, we, because of the pragmatic catastrophe, uh, the single uh, overlap will just die with system size of some power, and, and uh, basically, you, you, you need the, uh, the sum just to fix it to, to, to define the similarity. And it turns out that, so the way to do it is to identify in this soft in, in this soft excitations basically just matrix element of uh, well what is called vertex operators in, in uh, just 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 differential operators in, in three Gaussian field field theory. So yes, then you identify this, and then you can perform uh, yes, savage easy so uh, it will give you this power law. And that's basically how uh, normal lattice related. Except here we have an advantage that normal uh, logic provides only with exponents, and here we also have uh, this advantage. 
Right. Uh, so uh, the, this was for, for just soft, soft mode excitations. And if you have uh, highly excited states, well, you have to perform some uh, separately. And uh, well, basically, it will be simple Gaussian integral, which on top of this uh, power law will give you the Gaussian. So we'll get the factor uh, exponents and the uh, phase uh, factors, which will be just relevant between. Uh, uh, our statement the most relevant statement. So, um, right, let's see how it works for, or in, in, in our cases, just to flesh the formula. So, uh, for the Fredon determinant that we used for momentum distribution, basically it just corresponds to, to the static case. And again, uh, performing what I just said, uh, directly we get like some formulas for our x, x, x ones, which is a space shift. Uh, Integrated at the edge of frequency and very well described uh, uh, um, refactor. So just specific function. In, in, in case of infinite ball bottles, it reproduces this famous Vadia tracing result with this uh, uh, A uh, in relation. Well, in our case, just generalization of this result. And uh, that's how good it works. So, so here, the dots are uh, represent like mechanical locations, terminals. For uh, the positive effective case and the and the single solid lines, they just result in this equation. So you see, uh, they work almost everywhere except the uh, origin where trigonal determinants goes to one, and this uh, and this is the same right. So this is for uh, rho y and for m k for uh, large k also for common symptomatics and recover some contact. Right, and uh, uh, yeah, so for, for uh, to see how dynamics uh, works, uh, we, we, we consider the fundamentals relevant for the uh, correlation function, and basically, the story is the same. So, if you just take into account uh, what initially you think you get this red asymptotics again, dots are uh, exact value and, uh, and red. Uh, Asymptotics, and if you take also into account of this to the point of contribution and then while you then get much better convergence. Uh, right. Uh, unfortunately, for physical processes, uh, the, uh, in this particular case, for this particular uh, mobile impurity, uh, the linear uh, material liquid proved to be very little. And the reason for this is that uh, if you want to get asymptotics of, 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 of your Green's function, and then basically you have to again evaluate this integral and you evaluate it uh, as a single point. And it turns out that the uh, single point exists for uh, rays that are way, way below uh, light cone. So before it goes to light cone and all this uh, normal nonlinear uh, lattice liquid uh, effects uh, starts to matter, it will die at the um, uh, So yeah, so it's, it's shown here. So red. Uh, is, is, is exactly what corresponds to um, basically a light only function, and you see it's, it's, it's small to see any effects. Right. Uh, so, but uh, still, we can do some of the analysis, and, and, and uh, in, in Tom's limit, uh, observe that actually uh, the green function instead of being just a diffusion, which we will. Which one would expect for, for this particle introduced in some media? Actually, here we, uh, we have a logarithmic diffusion, which means the particle cannot really propagate and it uh, can propagate uh, only basically in exponential time. But uh, this is partially artifact of the infinite coupling constant, so you cannot penetrate the walls. If you turn on the um, final coupling constant, then uh, basically. Cover your normal diffusion with some more correction. Um, yeah, and then again, you see that the numerics and, the, and this formula works everywhere except like one, but the like one normal expressions are just here are so small that you just, yeah. So for presentation properties, I, I, I could just have cut my uh, uh, plot at, at 18, <laughs> and then no, nobody would see anything. But okay. Yeah. So this is uh, just presentation. So this was really one of the uh, expressions. 
All right. Uh, so with this, uh, I know I'm doing time, but uh, I already re reached to my summary uh, slide. Uh, so what I showed you in, in, in this uh, talk uh, that uh, basically knowing uh, four factors in the integral model, we can address many interesting physical points, uh, namely uh, momentum distribution that, that showed by uh, uh, non vanishing uh, asymptotic momentum, uh, and uh, so, so this is all, all one, and uh, there is uh, also left a little, a little bit of to do this. Uh, so, first, uh, all this was done at uh, at zero temperature. Uh, but as I mentioned, uh, generalization to non zero temperature, if you already have a, a, an answer in trigonal terminals, should be uh, quite straightforward. You just modify terminals. Uh, but then, to, but then uh, the asymptotic analysis of this uh, uh, soft uh, excitation that I showed you, it, it was completely different. And uh, uh, in, in October, I guess I, I gave a talk also in, in Warsaw at, at the Friday seminar, and it was uh, uh, the completely of, of explanation how to take into account uh, of any temperature. But I, I, I can just say that uh, so this is possible. So basically, uh, with all the space shifts that were like pretty harmless, and in, in the case of zero temperature here, this is what will give you the relation length and. Uh, or what this should be, and on top of that, of some dynamic equation function, you also have, even though you have like exponential uh, decay, you have you will have uh, some power operations which are very interesting for for because it's some, some type of of, of of you in your side. So in, on one sense, you clearly have a non CFT decay with the with the with the exponential, and still you have some power. So this very interesting to explore. In for this is for general uh, systems and for this particular systems uh, still very uh, questions is uh, basically to express the uh, some dynamic of points like P of T as we go to not analyze its property in particular the question here is whether one can predict the flutter frequency which I cannot address yet because I can now but and um, then whether one can describe uh, yeah, system with uh, uh, applied force. Yeah, so yeah, that's. There are also uh, questions. Uh, if you destroy uh, your integrability, let's say the mass, of, uh, the, the mass of your impurity particle wouldn't be the same as mass of your force particle. So how to take this into account? So we're also working in these directions. But uh, that's about it. So thank you very much for your attention. Okay. So thank you. For